Hey fellow Valorant champions, ready to level up your gaming experience? In this tutorial, we will exploring the best performance optimization settings for Valorant using the NVIDIA control panel. Whether you are looking to fine tune your graphic for smoother gameplay or enhance your competitive edge, we have got you covered. Get ready to unlock the full potential of your hardware and dominate the battlefield. Let's jump right in. Certainly, optimizing performance of Valorant in the NVIDIA control panel can, ha can help ensure a smoother gameplay experience. Here are some recommendation settings. Just right click on your desktop and then open the NVIDIA control panel. Once you open the NVIDIA control panel, just click on the adjust image settings with preview. And here you need to use my preference emphasize full on the performance. Now click on the many 3D settings once and then go into the program settings. Here, here I have already done it but I'll do it again for you. First of all, you need to import your game. If you don't know how to do that, simply click on add button and then find here the Valorant and click on add selected program. In case if Valorant is not appear here, just click on the browse and then go into the C drive. Probably its default destination is in the C drive. Just go into the C drive, Riot Games, Valorant, Live and here you will get the Valorant file. Open it. Once you have done this, uh, first option is here image scaling. Just click on it and turn it off hit ok now the second option is anastrophic filtering just click on it and turn it off anti-aliasing fx double a just click on it again and turn it off anti-aliasing gamma correction should be turned on anti-aliasing mode just click on it and here you need to set it on application controlled Background applications max frame rate, just click on it and turn it off. Older GPU, just click on it and select your GPU if you have enabled the internal GPU, you will see here. So select your external GPU. Load latency mode should be off. Max frame rate, just turn it off. Some settings are just adjust according to your graphic card. Now multi frame sample. A A M F double A. Just turn it off. Open GL GDA capability. Just click on it and prefer performance. Open GL rendering GPU. Just click on it and select your NVIDIA. Power management mode. Just click on it and prefer maximum performance. Prefer refresh rate. Just select application controlled. Texture filtering and a stroffing sample optimization. Turn it on. Texture filtering negative load bias. Just click on it and click on allow. Texture filtering quality. Just click on it and set it on high performance. Texture filtering. Just click on it and set it on thread optimization. Now here you need to click on thread optimization and set it on. Triple buffering, just click on it and set it off. Vertical synchronizations, just set it use the 3D application settings. So whenever you enable from your game settings, it will work. Otherwise, it will stop working. In the game, go into the video settings and then go into the graphic qualities. Here you will see the V sync synchronization. So make sure to turn it off. Virtual reality pre rendering frames, just click on it and select the one for maximum low latency performance. Volcan open GL present method, just click on it and set here the preferred native. That's it for today's guys. Just hit apply and close it. Remember to apply these settings and then launch Valorant to see how they impact your gaming experience. Not all settings may have a significant effect so feel free to experiment and adjust based on your system performance. Always monitor your FPS and gameplay to determine the optimal settings for your setup. Once you open the game simply go into the general here are a few things you need to do that first. Beta input buffer should be on. Now map settings it's on you but 
highly recommended if you are the beginner then select here the fixed and always the same and keep player in center this will help you to navigate easily in map now scroll down a bit here you will see the show mature content turn it off and never buffering if you are downloading or streaming then set it on maximum your bullet tracer should be on your spectator count should be on and then go into the video settings everything just copy now go into the stats select here the client fps text only scroll down and here you will see the input latency just enable the game to render latency cpu plus gpu in the graphic only network rtt should be graphic only network rtt jitter just hide it it's not that important packet loss should be on scroll down and shooting error this will impact your gameplay experience so turn it on and close it okay after in the game you will see here the game to general latency cpu plus gpu that's the latency when you take due just spectate it if it's jumping or not jumping and as well the shooter error if you fire while moving it will blue and yellow and if you uh, fire like this without moving it will be show you a green line so that's the better you need to focus on it for better accuracy now packet loss as well it's showing over here if you are not getting the packet loss that means it's good if you are getting the packet loss even the one percent then ask your isp to fix it now watch this gameplay if you like otherwise just hit the subscribe button and like it if you have any insight points or solutions that i might have missed in this tutorial i'd love to hear from you your feedback is incredible valuable to me and the entire community share your thoughts in the comment sections below let's collaborate and make sure we are covering all the bases to the achieve the best results don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification let's bell reset. so you don't miss Deep out breaths on all that. upcoming videos thank you again for watching and i'll Fight. see you in the next let's see one see how it goes 10 kills remaining cayate I'm good for three. Got four. I'm good for three! Got four!